what is yoga? Um, this is a subject that is particularly important to me uh, because I have mm, walked down this path. It's a path that I'm walking at the current moment. And so, yeah, like, uh, what is it? Um, so yoga, as I understand it, is a system of self-realization. So maybe just break it down. So say yoga, um, as, as I was told, I consulted a channel, um, a very well-known channel about it. And he told me that um, yoga was intuited by the people of the earth a very long time ago, um, basically at a, at a time predating uh, the civilization that is known as Atlantis. And so we're talking essentially um, upwards of 13,000 years ago. So somewhere beyond that, which is much older than um, I think a lot of people might think that it is. So it's pretty neat. I mean, just but that the people of the time, they were able to um, go within and, and have certain realizations and devise a system that they could teach others to um, recognize the... Uh, the nature of the relationship that exists between themselves and all that is or so like yoga the word yoga it means uh, union or to yoke and so union of what of individualized soul with omnipresent spirit uh, one of the kind of like um, I don't know if it's a metaphor but like examples is it's like say Say like the moon at night shining on the earth and then on the lakes and there's a reflection um, of the moon. And so the calmer the lake, the more accurate, the more fidelity, uh, the, the reflection of the moon. So it's like we are an aspect of something, um, yeah, in individualized portions of something very large. We are reflections of that and... Um, yeah, and so through through yoga, it is a a system of um, uh, at least the, so. Like there are a few. This is the thing is that there's there are some conceptions. I won't say misconceptions, but I mean, you know, my opinion is my opinion. But like there are for some people, yoga is hatha yoga, um, which is stretching and whatnot, and that's fine. Um, for myself, it is something else. So uh, a few years ago, I read the book Autobiography of a Yogi. Um, I read it twice and I was taken back by it. I, um, I had already written my own book about spirituality and been on the path for quite some time, but I felt um, and I, that what what this what it was about was a next level understanding that's and so i it like in it they talk about a certain type of a yoga called kriya yoga and it's like you could i don't know i suppose there's other ways to find out about it but they say it's like it's something that is passed on from a, like a teacher to a disciple at the right time and you kind of have to earn it like you could possibly circumnavigate around the teacher it was like it's quite the story about how it came and like um who passed it on to who and then who and who and who and then so and there's a, a thing you know some people don't like that um that there are like sort of schools like formal schools that you go to one of them which i attend um in order to learn this they just kind of want to be given the technique and it's like well you know to me the way that I think of it, it's like, you know, you, you just want the paycheck without doing the work or like you just want, uh, you know, it's, it, to me. Yeah, I mean, I think that I, I agree with the way that it is. I mean, there's it is it is the it's not your privilege, you know, or your right. It is something that you earn by impeccable behavior. And so it goes into it, too. It's like, you know, for me, yoga and so and also something I like this guy here, BKS Iyengar. I mean, before I started um, down the path of Raja or Ashtanga Yoga um, and studying with the group that I do now, and which is very much about meditation, it was just practicing 
or not just, but I was practicing Hatha Yoga and I, I really like this book. And he says, you know, like without Yama Niyama, it's is you basically just doing gymnastics or aerobic exercises. You know, it's in the word yoga union and what what you're doing and it's a system and there are eight steps it's like ashtanga it's like eight eight limb eight limb yoga and so the first thing the first two steps are are like things that you do and things that you don't do like you don't uh like non-violence non-stealing non-lying you know non-killing and it's like these are important steps if you're walking this path of ascension towards enlightenment if you're seeking this this deeper understanding to seeking to this this connection to have a first-hand personal experience of this of the relationship that exists between yourself and all that is i mean it's like you probably have some morals right not just take the technique and then like you know forget the rest and then the third step is asana which is the poses and whatnot and then it goes on from there and it's about sort of like um learning to go inside and still yourself and to focus and then to meditate meditation is something that comes way down the line where you're actually able to um withdraw your energy from your senses and like where the thoughts stop and where you stop being stimulated by everything then you're at peace and then you're able to focus your energy or your attention inward towards um that relationship and then and like you know one of the things that very much attracted me is they said you know you don't have to believe you just um you just have to practice the techniques and you will have the experience you know it's it's not a thing of buy into this you know and and do this and do that i mean you do have to meditate but i mean it's it's not so bad there's lots of benefits to meditation and um i mean it's not bad at all i it is such a part of my life now i mean and and it has taken the place of the plant medicine path that i walked for a long time and that I am very grateful for but now there are zero drawbacks to this path of meditation I just be I become more centered and more grounded and more in touch with whom I am on a deeper level and my understanding of that relationship that I have with everything else and so yeah I mean it's great you know yoga is um Yoga is that so there there's a a verse that I that I love is um from from this uh Iyengar the illustrated light on yoga book and it's like this the Bhagavad Gita also gives other explanations of the term yoga and lays stress upon karma yoga yoga by action it is said work alone is your privilege never the fruits thereof never let the fruits of an action be your motive and never cease to work work in the name of all that is good abandoning selfish desires be not affected by success or failure this equipoise is called yoga and so yeah i mean i i don't know what else to say i mean it is a you know it's a beautiful thing i don't know of any other system like it i that i had come across not that i've studied everything but i agreed enough with the principles and like you know i will say this i do not recommend it by any means i do not recommend the school that i have gone with it has taken a considerable amount for me to put my self aside in order to find my way in the teachings but i believe that the teachings are there fundamentally and you know i try to remain open uh to things even though sometimes it's like i might have a problem with something that is being said and so that only for that reason it's like you know you have to find your own way and what works with you um listen to your own intuition and it's like and but i'm just saying it wasn't easy and i still struggle with it 
but I still move forward because I don't pretend like I know it all. And like, like my, you know, my ego is, you know, I don't need to fight everything and everybody. It's not, you know, and that's something that yoga has helped with too. And it's like, it's something that I love is I used to like when I was solely practicing uh, Hatha yoga, it was great because, you know, for me, it's like you're practicing balance. This is important in life. You're practicing uh, stretching. You're stra- practicing being calm. You're, you're practicing um, movement. You're practicing like a lot of things, these things as concepts and you're, you're doing it physically. Uh, but it's like it's like you you start to understand it because you you can recognize just through the practice that how important these things actually are in life you know it's not just a, a yoga you don't just do you yoga you 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 practice yoga and it's like and it's it's important i mean yeah just the the way that you conduct yourself both on and off the mat and um yeah, I think um, I think that's it. I mean, you know, there's a lot to it. You know, I I would say, as far as I know, this is basically where the the understanding to do with the whole chakras and things like that. Like, there's a lot of spirituality, um, as I think a lot of people know it, very much tied up in this system of yoga. I mean, and there are. Yeah, it, and it's it's beautiful and it makes sense and it's logical and it's like you don't yeah I mean there's it's really neat and I have benefited from it. Um, I know a lot of other people have as well. Um, there's a, there's a reason why it's uh, so big in the world today. Um, you know, it's gotten so much bigger. It's a thing when, when I think that when it was brought to North America, it wasn't understood. And they didn't think that it would, that people would even just be able to do the asana, to be able to get themselves into those kind of positions. But it's like, you know, it is, it is really taken the world by storm, sort of. You know, there's a lot of people doing yoga, practicing mindfulness and, and whatnot and and being a part of that i mean it's a it's a wonderful community uh yeah um and so yeah what else um you know something for me that i have have noticed that when i so i i've had back problems uh i was i used to be a rod buster rebar and i one time i was packing a piece of 40m uh, and I just heard this squish and it like one of my discs or something like that. And I never had it checked out, but it hurt me for many, many years. And like, I tried inversion tables and stuff like that. But then eventually when I hit yoga, like after reading the book and then like dedicated myself to this yoga practice, practicing twice a day and, you know, really developing myself and going into it and like really, really developing. Cause like part of it is healing as well. It's not just, you can't push yourself too hard. It's like, and like they say, you're not yoga robots and we're not like, um, you know, you don't force it. It happens naturally and your body's different at different times of the day and da 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 da. da. And depending on your diet, there's all kinds of things that affect your yoga practice but um yeah i threw over the, the course of the last year it has worked its way from my neck all the way down to my tailbone and corrected my entire posture and all pain is just gone and i feel better than ever because my posture is on point i mean um and I, I also noticed too that when I do certain stretches very much like around the stomach and kind of leggy area and whatnot, it opens something up in my nasal cavity. I feel like there is an opening which takes place and then I'm able to breathe better. I mean, just reducing the, the tension in your body, creating this flexibility so that you can move and, and like you're, you're not rigid. I mean, I sleep better. I live better. My life is better because of it. You know, I, um, and I'm going to see where it goes. I mean, like I said, I've been practicing Kriya for some time now and 
you know, in, in the beginning, it's it's tough. Uh, you know, just like Hatha yoga, it's it, it's just like at first, it's like you got to be kidding me, and then it's it, but then it gets easier, and then it starts to all make sense. You know, kind of like speaking Spanish. You know, it's like you don't try don't try to understand it. If you just do it, it'll all make sense, and so. Yeah, that's this has been my experience of, of yoga. I mean, part of it anyways. And it's what I can share in this little moment of time that I have your attention. But um, yeah, it's great. I am so happy to have finally made this video and it's just enough procrastinating. That's the old Josh. Yeah, this is the new me. And um, yeah, I like him. I hope you like them. <laughs> uh, so silly sometimes. Okay.